beginning one we got the Lord most high your hidden glory in creation now revealed in you oh Christ what a beautiful name it is what a beautiful name it is the name of Jesus Christ our King what a beautiful name it is nothing can stand against what a beautiful name it is the name of Jesus you were the word at the beginning one we Christ our King, what a powerful name, name. nothing can stand against, beautiful name. you 
reign. Yours is the kingdom. Yours is the glory. Yours is the name above the name. Hey, oh, one more time, you have no rival. You have. Yours is the kingdom, yours is the glory, hey, yours is the name of hope. What a powerful name, powerful name, it is the name, the name of Jesus.
what a mighty God we serve. Oh, wherever you are washing me from, begin to wave your hands to Jesus and say, Lord, I thank you. I thank you. This is the seventh day of this fasting and praying. Begin to worship God. Begin to thank Him. As we have been doing from the beginning, begin to thank Him for your request. Because He's going to grant them. He's going to grant you whatever you are asking for. Let's begin to thank Him for answering our prayer. Let's begin to get, grant, thank Him for granting us our heart desires and our requests in this time of fasting and praying. Oh, begin to worship Him. Begin to worship Him. Begin to speak to Him that, Lord, I thank you. Mention your request one after the other and let and begin to appreciate him because he will do it. Begin to thank you. Father, we thank you. Father, we bless your name. Lord, I appreciate you. I thank you for answering our prayer. I thank you for granting us our heart desires. I thank you, Lord. God, I thank you that if this is the seventh day that you will perfect everything concerning us. Every request we have brought before you, it shall be perfected. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father, Lord. We bless your name, O oh Lord. We glorify your name, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have worship. Lord, I thank you once again. As you go into the prayers of tonight, Lord, come and answer us speedily. I command heavens to open upon you wherever you are washing me from. In the name of Jesus, I release the grace of God to locate you wherever you are washing me from. In the name of Jesus, I command your life to be gracious wherever you are washing me from. I pray that as you cry to God this morning, that the Lord will answer you speedily. There shall not be delayed to answer to your prayer. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will touch you. In the name of Jesus, the ministry angel will minister to your needs. In the name of Jesus, I command you to be blessed. In the name of Jesus, I command you to be blessed. In the name of Jesus, as I decree and I declare, it shall come to pass. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will anoint my tongue like the tongue of the pen writer. It will make my lips to be gracious. In the name of Jesus, as I open my mouth, the Lord will fill it up. Holy Spirit, come and take over this morning. Come and use me again. Come and minister to me again. Come and reveal things to me in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. If you can help to share this broadcast, share it. Con call your people. Call your friends. Put it on our, our women group platform, our men's group platform. Any one of you can do that. Put it there. Let people be connected in the name of Jesus and make sure that you are praying this prayer that we shall be praying. Today, we are going to be praying for the lifting of multiple embargoes. There are some people that the embargo upon them is multitude. As they have laid embargo that they cannot marry, there is an embargo that they can have children. There is an embargo on some people that they cannot make money. And there is also an embargo that they will never get job to do. And if you can't get job to do, how can you make money? But every multiple embargoes they place on you by the power in the name of Jesus Christ, it shall be lifted this morning. In the name of Jesus, all you need to do is open your mouth and decree and I declare. So whatever you decree tonight in prayer, it shall come to pass and there shall be testimony in the name of Jesus. We're going to take a test from Psalm 124, verse 6 to 8. Psalm 124, verse 6 to 8. It says, Blessed be the Lord, and the book Ira, who has not given us as a prey to their teeth. Ah, may God not give you as a prey to the teeth of your enemy. In the name of Jesus. Verse 7 says, Our soul has escaped as a bird from the snare of the fowler. Anyone that has been caged ah, by the snare of the fowler, anyone that has been caged by demonic Snake, anyone that will be killed by witchcraft snake, you are going to escape this morning in the name of Jesus. I said you will escape in the name of Jesus. He said our soul has escaped. Your soul will escape. Ah, your destiny is going to escape. Your glory is going to escape from every snake of the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus. He said as well as escape as a bird from the snake of the fowler. He said, this snake is broken. Whatever they have used to lay embargo on you, I command you to break tonight in the name of Jesus. Anything they have used to lay embargo on our children, I said, that thing is broken tonight in the name of Jesus. He said, this snake is broken. How we have escaped, you are escaping. 
Say it to yourself. Say, I am escaping. Mention your name. Say, I, Olumide, Olumuyiwa, Adeyileka, and my children and my household, we are escaping in the name of Jesus. Oh, no, don't say we are escaping. Say, we have escaped in the name of Jesus. Because you have escaped. Just by joining this prayer tonight, you have escaped in the name of Jesus. Say, I have escaped. Say, we have escaped in the name of Jesus. And verse 8, he said, our help is in the name of the Lord who made the heaven and earth. And that is why today we're going to be praying, praying in the name of the Lord. By the power in the name of Jesus Christ, you will escape. By the power in the name of Jesus Christ, that embargo is broken over your life. The snare they have used to capture you, they have used to limit you, is broken tonight in the name of Jesus. An embargo is a restriction. I want somebody to get me my anointing oil. I feel in my spirit that we should anoint ourselves this morning. Can you get me my anointing oil from the office? After this prayer, we are going to be anointing ourselves. You to get your anointing oil ready wherever you are washing me from. I just felt it drop in my spirit that we're going to be anointing ourselves because anointing destroys yokes. Isaiah 10, 27 says, In that day, the body will be removed from your shoulder and the yoke shall be destroyed by the reason of the anointing oil. After the anointing of tonight, any embargo that has yoked you to limit you, it shall be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. So, as, as I was saying, an embargo is a restriction. An embargo is also a limitation or a or something that makes you to stop. An embargo is also a blockage that blocks the flow of blessing to your life, that blocks you from making progress. But anything that has stopped you tonight by the power in the name of Jesus Christ, they shall be broken and your life will continue to move forward. In the name of Jesus, an embargo is a denier. When you are denied of your right, when you are denied of blessing, when you are denied of what is rightful yours, it's an embargo. But whatever you have been denied of, the mercy of God is going to give them to you today in the name of Jesus. An embargo is also a standstill. When you are stagnant, there is an embargo that says stop. You know when you are driving and the traffic light comes with red. In some countries, I've seen the traffic light, apart from the red, it also comes with a hand that says stop. <clears throat> Somebody, an embargo that says stop. A young man some years back told me when he was praying for marriage, there was a lady in our church then that they were cutting and they were supposed to be married and they were supposed to get married together. They were cutting. I started canceling them. And he said that he dreamt when they came to me. I said, Pastor, I had a dream. And in that dream, I saw someone who raised a hand and said he should stop that marriage. I said, that hand is an evil hand. It's not the hand of God. I will command the hand to be paralyzed. And we did the marriage. And today they are still married. Any hand, any power in the realm of the spirit that has hurt you, that has said stop, that has, that has said you cannot go beyond this line. That power is paralyzed today in the mighty name of Jesus. And an embargo is an hindrance to movement. And, this, and, 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 and there are signs that show that you are going through embargo. And some of the signs that there is an embargo in your, is in place in your life is when you discover a kind of enslavement in your spirit and in your body. You will feel a slave. If you have been praying very well before, something will hold you, you will not be able to pray like before. You, there is an enslavement. There is something that, that, that makes you, your spirit to be weak. It makes your spirit not to be, to be willing to do anything. Listen to me. And when your spirit is attacked, your soul is under attack. And you're because you, you are a wholesome person. You are made up of body, spirit, and soul. If anything happens to any of the tripartite forces that makes you a man or a woman. Anything that happens then we, we affect the rest because they are joined together. You are not three in one. You are a whole. And what makes you whole is your body, your spirit, and your soul. So when the spirit is under enslavement, the soul is also affected. And your body will be affected because what you begin to manifest is a result of what is happening in your spirit, man. Are you hearing me? 
any spirit that has been caged. I said, this name is broken tonight and you shall be set free. In the mighty name of Jesus. I said, you shall be set free. In the name of Jesus. So, the, 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 when there is an embargo, it will affect your dreams. You, your, your dream life will change. You will see yourself struggling. You will see yourself in back to your old school when you were young. You will, some people even see themselves doing examination they have left 20, 10 years ago. You will see yourself wearing uniform of when you were in primary school and secondary school that you have left some years ago. You will see yourself where you were living before, managing life. You will see yourself driving uh, where, an Okada, a bicycle, driving a tricycle. You will see yourself in a lower level. That shows that they, in the realm of the spirit, they have limited you. You are more than this in the real life. You are supposed to be more than this because what you apples to you in the realm of the spirit is what you manifest. And I decree and I declare any power that has bring you back in the journey of life, in the realm of the spirit, I command them to release you in the name of Jesus. I put the anointing of spirit over your life. Begin to move now and meet up with those that have gone ahead of you. Begin to move now and come up with the reality of time in your life. In the name of Jesus, let every delay be covered up in the, by supernatural spirit of the Holy Ghost upon you. In the name of Jesus, Go and make progress. Go and chase those that have gone ahead of you and meet with them and overtake them by this anointing today in the name of Jesus. So when you are under embargo, your dream life changes. You see yourself becoming a slave, begging in your dream, serving people in your dream. When you begin to see yourself that you are the only one serving, you are the one they are asking to go and fetch water. You are the one that is serving people food. You are the one that is clearing plates in, in your dream. You are the one that is washing, washing until you wake up. You know, some people, they will use them in their dream that when they wake up, they'll be tired physically. That is a, a sign that your life has been embargo. And until that, your dream life changes. <laughs> your real life will not change. And that's why the prayer of today is dealing with your spiritual life. So that your manifestation will be a better manifestation. In the mighty name of Jesus. Anytime you see your, you in your dream life, in the realm of the spirit, that you are operating below your status in life, that's an embargo. But we are here this morning to declare that that embargo shall do what? It shall be lifted by the power in the name of Jesus. Listen to me, an embargo can come from God and it can come from Satan. There are some people that the embargo they are facing, God is the one that placed an embargo on them. An example from, uh, of embargo from God may be to rebook sin as in the case of the Israelites. Anytime they fall into sin, God place embargo on them so that they can repent. So that they, they, can, they, can, they, they can realize that they have done something. When things are not working for them, when they become stagnant, when they begin to move around in one place, when they begin to face the plague of God, it is for them, it's calling them to repentance. And some of you, this morning, you need to ask for repentance. You need to ask for forgiveness of sin. The mercy of God will, will, will help you this morning. The mercy of God will redeem you back to God. If you have sinned against God, God will show you mercy. The only thing that God respects is His mercy. Anytime mercy speaks, God bows. Anytime mercy speaks, <laughs> God shows mercy. May God show us some more mercy this morning. May the mercy of God speak for you this morning. In the name of Jesus. If it is your sin that has made God to break an embargo on you, God will show you mercy. And that embargo shall be lifted in the mighty name of Jesus. But when an embargo is from Satan and his agent, it is for complete destruction. Satan don't have uh, mercy. It is to destroy, to steal, and to kill. But God's mercy also has the ability to break every satanic embargo over your life. That is why James 2.13, the, the big part, say mercy prevail over judgment. I don't know any demonic judgment they are passed against you. Every, every satanic judgment they are passed against you. Every wicked judgment passed against you. I release the mercy of God upon you tonight. Let mercy leave that embargo in your life. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. I said the message of God will leave that embargo in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Some embargoes can be self-afflicted. What do I say? Some embargoes are what? Self-afflicted. Embargoes that you cost upon yourself by your action. Anytime you, do, you, you plan evil against an innocent person, especially against a child of God, anyone planning evil against you, that evil will always return back to their head. Just like Haman and Mordecai. That's why if you see somebody who is a child of God, who is serving God, they are, it's, it's dangerous to want to put them down. Any evil they plan against you as a child of God goes back to them. And when you begin to plot for a child of God, whether you are a child of God, plotting against another child of God, you carry it. It backfires. So, a lot of people, they have inflicted embargo upon their life because of the attack over innocent people. In the book of Nehemiah chapter 9, verse 26 to 27, perhaps he said, Nevertheless, Nehemiah 9, 27, said, Nevertheless, they were disobedient and rebel against you. Cast your law behind them and killed your prophet. Who testify against them to turn them to yourself? And they work great provocation. Verse 27. He said, Therefore, you deliver them into the hand of their enemy, who oppress them. And in the time of their trouble, when they cry to you, you will hide from heaven. And according to your abundant mercy, you gave them deliverance, who, who saved them from the hand of their enemy. I want you to stop that wickedness you are doing. I want to repent of that evil plan, your, your agenda to pull down your fellow child of God, to pull down someone who has not done evil to you. I want you to repent of it this morning. And as you repent on it, I pray that the abundant mercy of God will deliver you in the name of Jesus. I say the abundant blessings of God will deliver you in the mighty name of Jesus. Another time that an embargo can come upon you is when you reward evil for good. When somebody is doing good to you and you are paying back with evil, you will carry what you are not supposed to carry. The Lord will fight you back. It's a principle of God. It will fight you back. It will put embargo upon your life. It will deal with you. Nobody does wickedness and go away free. No. God will always reward you. Whatever you sow, you will always reap. And that is why you have to be careful. Don't reward evil for good. It will backfire. Proverbs 17, 13. The Bible says, whoever rewards evil for good, evil will not depart from his house. Ah, may God show you mercy this morning in the name of Jesus. We're going to cry for mercy before we continue to pray this morning. Today, the Lord will show you mercy. I said the Lord will show you mercy. I said the Lord will show you mercy. Listen to me in Deuteronomy 28, 23. 23. Deuteronomy 28, 23. The Bible says, And your heavens which are over your head shall be bronze, and the heart which is under you shall be higher. That is when you have done evil. That is the embargo that God places upon you. Are you listening to me? I pray for you today. May God break every embargo that has been placed upon your life. May your heavens be open in the name of Jesus. May the earth begin to yield this increase unto you in the name of Jesus. Listen to me. I want you to pray. There's nothing God cannot do. Elijah pronounced embargo upon Israel. He said that because of the um, prophet of Baal. And he said there will not be rain over Israel. And there was no rain. And God had to speak to me after some people interceded and prayed for mercy. God did not even lift that embargo. He called on Elijah himself to come and lift that embargo after three and a half years. And he, he came and he declared, and rain began the trap in the I don't know who have pronounced embargo upon you. I don't know the prophet that have pronounced embargo upon you. I don't know the, the, the evil tongue that has pronounced embargo upon you. God is going to use the same person. He is going to declare the lifting of that embargo. Everyone that has spoken against you, I decree by the power in the name of Jesus Christ, 
God is going to use them. They're going to leave that embargo. I command the embargo, be lifted now in the mighty name of Jesus. And when embargoes have been lifted in your life, you will begin to experience Psalm 126, verse 1 to 3. He says, when the Lord brought back the captivity of Zion, he said, we were like those who dream. When God breaks that embargo in this time of fasting and praying, it will be as if you were doing what? You were dreaming. He said, we were like those who dream. Verse 2 said, then our mouth was filled with laughter. God is going to fill your mouth with laughter in this season, in the name of Jesus. And our tongue with singing. Your tongue will begin to be with singing in the name of Jesus. And they said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. You will testify to the greatness of God in the name of Jesus. And the Lord has done great things for us. And we are glad. I have seen God lift the embargo on the life of people in this church. And I've seen the way God did it. It was like a dream. Even to me that was praying with them, it was like a dream. It was like a dream. It was like a dream. God is so good. God is so good. And God has given them a new song. May God give you a new song in this season. In the name of Jesus, with that embargo be lifted in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to join me wherever you are to rise up on your feet as we now pray. I want you to pray. I want you to declare. I want you to pray. I want you to pray. I don't want you to be asleep. Wake up. Rise up. <laughs> rise up wherever you are. Make sure you are on. Make, make sure you are charged. And I want you to declare like this. And we're going to declare our first prayer like this. Say after me, say, Father Lord, have mercy upon me and break every embargo to my breakthrough. In the name of Jesus, uh, begin to pray for mercy. Father Lord, have mercy upon me. Father Lord, have mercy upon us and break every embargo to our breakthrough. Break, 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 break. Now, break by the power in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, by the mercy of God, I pray. Uh, let embargo place on my breakthrough. Let embargo place on the breakthrough of this ministry. Let embargo place on your business. Let embargo place on your marital life. Let embargo place upon you. Be lifted now by the mercy of God. Be lifted. Be lifted. Be lifted. Be lifted. Be lifted. Embargo. Break. Embargo. Break. 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 Break now. Kataboka irakati. Every embargo place upon our children. I command them to break. In the name of Jesus. I command them to break. In the name of Jesus. I command them to break. 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 Break now. Embargo is broken over your life. In the name of Jesus. Go and break through. In the name of Jesus. We are still praying. I want to declare like this. Say, blood of Jesus Christ. Ha. Shout is a blood of Jesus. Oh, you can do better than that. I want you to shout. Say, blood of Jesus. Say, wipe out every embargo. Place on my rising in life in the mighty name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, wipe out every embargo that has been placed on my rising in life. Be wiped out, be wiped out, be wiped out, be wiped out, be wiped out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command it to be wiped out. Every embargo placed upon my rising in life be wiped out, be wiped out, be wiped out, be wiped out by the power in the name of Jesus Christ. I command it to be wiped out. I command it to be wiped out. I command it to be wiped out in the name of Jesus. Katabo kayete uroko to kayata arinda kate kayete kata rikete kato be wiped out. 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 Be wiped out by the blood of Jesus. Blood of your wipe them out. Every embargo they are placed on me. Every embargo placed on our children. Every embargo placed on Holy Ghost Test Center, the Elevation Point, London. Be wiped out now by the blood of Jesus. Wipe them out. Wipe them out. Wipe them out. In the name of Jesus. Be wiped out now by the power in the blood of Jesus. They are wiped out. Amen. We are still praying. I want to declare that this, oh Lord. Shout to say, oh Lord. Say every embargo pronounced on my life. <laughs> pronounced on my children's life. Pronounce on my marriage. <laughs> Pronounce on my financial breakthrough. Shout to say, I command by the power in the name of Jesus Christ, be overturned. Be overturned. And be overturned. 
by the power in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let's turn to prayer right now. Oh Lord, every embargo that I be pronounced on my life, every embargo pronounced on my calling, every embargo pronounced on this ministry, Holy Ghost, Christ sent alone on the elevation point, every embargo pronounced on my marital journey, every embargo pronounced on my children, I command by the power in the name of Jesus Christ, be overturned. Be overturned and be overturned now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I command you to be overturned. I command you to be overturned. Every embargo that I be pronounced upon you as you are hearing my voice, be overturned. Be overturned. By the power in the name of Jesus Christ, be overturned. And I command your right to be given to you now. In the mighty name of Jesus, they are overturned. We are still praying. I want to declare like this. Say, oh Lord, I shout to say, oh Lord, say every embargo place on my glory not to shine. <laughs> you can mention that area of your life that is not shining. Every embargo that has been placed on my financial glory, every embargo that has been placed on my business glory, every embargo placed on my marital glory, mention the glory. Are you hearing me? But I want you to declare, say, oh Lord, every embargo place on my glory, not to shine. Say, by the power in the name of Jesus Christ, be dismantled by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, dismantle them in the name of Jesus. Begin to dismantle them. Every embargo that has been placed on my glory, not to shine by the power in the name of Jesus Christ, be dismantled, be dismantled, be dismantled, be dismantled by the power in the name of Jesus Christ. I command them to be dismantled. I command them to be dismantled. I command them to be dismantled. Be dismantled. Be dismantled. Be dismantled. Be dismantled. Be dismantled by the power in the name of Jesus Christ. I command it to be dismantled. I command it to be dismantled. I command it to be dismantled. Be dismantled. Be dismantled. Every embargo that I be placed on the glory of my children, not to shine by the power in the name of Jesus Christ. Be dismantled. Be dismantled. Be dismantled. Be dismantled. Be dismantled. Be dismantled. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every embargo that I be placed on this ministry, Holy Ghost, the glory of this ministry, not to shine in London by the power in the name of Jesus Christ. I command it to be dismantled in the name of Jesus. Be dismantled. Are you praying for yourself? Are you praying for your children? Are you praying? Every embargo that I'll be placed on the glory of your children, are you declaring? Every embargo that I'll be placed on your life, are you, are you praying? Every embargo placed on your financial glory, every embargo placed on your business glory, command them to be dismantled right now by the power in the name of Jesus Christ. I command them to be dismantled. In the name of Jesus Christ, they are dismantled. Amen. We are still praying. I want to pray like this. Oh Lord, shout, say, Oh Lord, say, every embargo placed on my destiny that have kept me stranded in the journey of life. Declare, <laughs> say, Oh Lord, say, every embargo placed on my destiny. That have kept me stranded in the journey of life. Say, by the power in the name of Jesus Christ, be lifted by fire. Be lifted by fire. Be lifted by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, be lifted by fire. Be lifted by fire. Be lifted. Be lifted. Be lifted. Be lifted. Be lifted by fire. Katabo kayete. Oroko toka irakate. Be lifted by fire. Be lifted by fire. Every embargo that has been placed on my destiny. Uh, to, uh, that have made me to be stranded in life. Oh, be lifted, be lifted, be lifted, be lifted. Every embargo placed on our children's destiny that can make them stranded in life. I command them to be lifted now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command them to be lifted now. Every embargo placed on my calling not, uh, uh, to, uh, so that I can be stranded in the work of ministry. Be lifted now. In the mighty name of Jesus, be lifted. You will not be stranded. In the journey of life. You will not die before you fulfill destiny. You will fulfill your destiny. In the name of Jesus. I want you to pray like this. We are still praying for more prayer point. I want to declare like this. Say, oh Lord. She has to say, oh Lord. Except you are a reverend father or a reverend mother. You might not pray this one. But you can pray it for somebody else. If you are a reverend father, don't pray it. Or you are a reverend mother. You are a nun. Don't pray this prayer. I want you to 
but you can pray it for somebody as an intercessory prayer. I want to declare that this. Oh Lord, shout say, Oh Lord, say every embargo placed upon my marital destiny and marriages and marriage. Ah, say, Oh Lord, every embargo placed on my marital destiny. If you are an old man and an old woman, you can pray for your children now. You can pray for your children. I want to declare, say, Oh Lord, say every embargo placed upon my marital destiny and marriage. Every embargo place upon my children, marital destiny and marriage. He said, by the power in the name of Jesus Christ, be lifted by fire now. In the mighty name of Jesus, be lifted by fire. Be lifted by fire. In the name of Jesus, I speak to somebody that is hearing my voice. Every embargo that I've been placed upon your marital destiny and your marriage life, I command them by the power in the name of Jesus Christ, be lifted, be lifted, be lifted, be lifted, be lifted. In the name of Jesus, every embargo that I've be placed on my children, my little destiny and marriages by the power in the name of Jesus Christ. I command it to be lifted now. Be lifted by fire. Be lifted by fire. Be lifted by fire. Be lifted by fire. In the name of Jesus. Katabo Kayete. Yekete Kata. Be lifted. Be lifted. Be lifted. Be lifted. Be lifted now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, they are lifted. Amen. That embargo is lifted over your marital life. That embargo is lifted over your marriages. Every fruitfulness in your marriage that has been embargo, embargo is lifted. Go and be fruitful right now and begin to subdue the heart in the name of your begin to take dominion in the name of Jesus. Begin to multiply and increase in the mighty name of Jesus. We are praying. Amen. I want you to pray like this. Yo. Two more prayer points. Or three more. I want to declare. As you are praying this, I want you to stretch your hands towards your mouth and speak to your hands. I want to declare like this. Oh Lord, say every embargo placed on my hands from making money. Say by the power in the name of Jesus Christ, be lifted now and be broken by fire. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray. Oh Lord, every embargo that I be placed on my hands <laughs> for making money by the power in the name of Jesus Christ, I command it to be broken now. In the name of Jesus, be lifted and be broken. Be lifted and be broken. Be lifted, be broken. Be lifted and be broken. Be lifted and be broken. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray by the power in the name of Jesus Christ, every embargo that I'll be placed on the hands of my children for making money by the power in the name of Jesus Christ be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken and be lifted now in the name of Jesus be broken and be lifted now in the mighty name of Jesus they are broken. I command money to begin to flow to your hand. Every wicked power that has held your hand not to make money Every power that is making money to drop from your hands. Every embargo they place on you that money will not flow to your hands. I command that embargo be lifted now. And let the power that held your hand, let the power be broken in the name of Jesus. Any power they have that has entered your hand that does not allow you to make money, the power is destroyed tonight. Begin to make money. I dip your hands into the blood of Jesus. And let the blood of Jesus wipe out everything they have done to your hands that you cannot make money. Begin to make money right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. We pray. Amen. Two more prayer points. I want to declare like this. Say, mercy of God. Shout it. <laughs> Say, mercy of God. Prevail over every wicked judgment. Pass against me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Mercy of God. Prevail over every wicked judgment that has been passed against me. In the name of Jesus. Mercy of God. Prevail over them. Prevail over them. Prevail over them. Katabo kayete. Oroko to kayata. Every uh, uh, prevail over every wicked judgment that has been passed against me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, yes, the mercy of God prevail. Mercy of God Oh, prevail, 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 prevail over them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we are prayed. Amen. Amen. Mercy will prevail for you. Mercy will speak for you. Every judgment that has been passed against you that has bring embargo into your life by the mercy of God, it is overturned. In the mighty name of Jesus. 
No more embargo in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Finally, I want to pray like this. Eh? By the power in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree, it's my season of all round breakthrough. Uh-huh. It will look on. It may look on. That's a breakthrough. It is my season of all round breakthrough. It is my turn. I don't know, maybe it's your turn, but it is my turn of all round breakthrough. It is my turn to testify of the goodness of God. It is my turn to move to the next level. It is my turn for that promotion. It is my turn to get my settlement in this life. I don't know what is your turn. Ah, wherever you are watching me from, begin to declare that it is my turn. It is my turn. It is my turn. This one is not the emilocon that they are talking of. This one, it will be, it will be you that will, that will be called in the mighty name of Jesus. It will be your turn. I want to declare it. Say, by the power in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. And you begin to mention the one, what you want God to do for you now. I see your turn. I want to declare it again. Say, by the power in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree it's my season of all of all round breakthrough. In the mighty name of Jesus, it's my season <laughs> of all round lifting. In the name of Jesus, it's my season of turnaround. It's my season of breakthrough. Begin to declare it. In the name of Jesus, by the power, in the name of Jesus, it's my turn. Oh Lord, for an all season, for all round breakthrough. In the name of Jesus, it's my turn. It's my turn of breakthrough. For all round breakthrough. In the name of Jesus, it's my turn for financial breakthrough. It's my turn for ministerial breakthrough. It's my turn for breakthrough in every area of my life. I decree it and I declare it's my turn. I say it's my turn. I say it's my turn. I say it's my turn to breakthrough. It's my turn in the name of Jesus. It is my turn. It is my turn to break through. 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 It is my turn to move forward. It is my turn to be lifted. It is my turn to make money in the mighty name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus Christ, it's my turn in the mighty name of Jesus. I've come to declare over you wherever you are hearing my voice from, I speak. As an oracle of the Most High God, that embargo placed on you, spiritual embargo placed on you, embargo issued upon that man from your father, that embargo placed on you, that woman, the embargo they placed on your children, I command the embargo, break by fire, and let it be lifted now. With automatic alacrity, be lifted in the name of Jesus. Because whomsoever the Son of God has set me is free in the end. today I command to be delivered from that embargo. In the name of Jesus, that limitation is broken over your life. In the name of Jesus, I speak to you by the power in the name of Jesus Christ. What you have been denied of by the power in the name of Jesus Christ, I command it to be restored back to you now. Begin to receive it in the name of Jesus. No more denier. In the name of Jesus. No more stopping you. In the name of Jesus. I command it to be broken. 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 I command it break now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I release you from every covenant you have been caged. Every glory that has been caged. I command it to be released. I release your spirit from every coven that has caged it. Every power that has caged your spirit, I command it to be released. Every power that is tormenting your soul, I paralyze that power now. In the name of Jesus, embargo the place on your health is lifted. Embargo the place on your making money is lifted. Embargo the place on you not to marry is lifted. Embargo, the place on you not to have the settlement of this land is lifted. Katabo Kaira Kate, the yoke is broken. I said, the yoke is broken. I said, the yoke is broken. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Can you get your anointing oil wherever you are? If you don't have an anointing oil where you are, you can get water. Get water. Get something. The only thing you must not get now, don't get palm oil. 
<laughs> because you are not going to put it on a God <laughs> and an idol. And get your anointing on it, not palm oil, because it will stain your pillow when you go back to sleep. Are you hearing me? Get anointing oil or get a bottle of water if you do not have anointing oil. Lord, I transfer grace to flow into every oil that is being raised up. I declare Isaiah 20, 27 upon that oil. Let that oil become an anointing oil. Let that water become an anointed water in your hands. In the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare that as you release the anointed, as you release the anointed water, let every yoke that have let embargo on your life, let them be broken now. In the name of Jesus. Because as I have told myself, said, in that day the body will be removed from your shoulder and the yoke shall be destroyed by the reason of the anointing. By cause of this anointing, I command the yoke break over your life. In the name of Jesus. Embargo is lifted in your life. In the name of Jesus. Release the anointing upon your head now. Say, by the power in the name of Jesus, I break every yoke over my life. I Break every embargo over my life. If you know your own embargo, begin to mention it as you are anointing yourself. And begin to declare that it is broken because of the anointing. It is broken because of the anointing. It is broken because of the anointing. You can anoint your children. Even if they are sleeping, go to their room and anoint them. Any area of their life that is not performing well, break the embargo. Break the yoke because of the anointing oil. That is what the Bible says. Because of the anointing oil, the, the, the yoke is broken. The embargo is broken. By this anointing, embargo is broken over your life, over my life, over the life of our children. Embargo is broken. Embargo is broken. Thank you, Father. It is settled. In Jesus' mighty name. We are praying. Amen. What a night again. Something has happened again to you this night. I want you to lift your Prayer request up, whether it's on your phone, whether it's on paper, or you've written it on your heart, lay your hands on your heart. I decree by the authority in the name of Jesus that embargo is lifted over your request. The Lord will grant you your request and you will testify in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father Lord. It is settled in Jesus' name. That is it. If you can repeat the prayer in the morning, Repeat them in the morning. Pray them as much as you can until we pray again. I will meet with you again the next day on the 8th of this prayer. And fasting time, get ready. Make sure you are praying. Send the prayer podcast to your friend. Let them also connect. And I know God is going to do something in their life. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are blessed. Wish you good night and bye for now. You have a dream, get your paper ready and write down your dream. God bless you. Amen and amen.